And out after all that. <laughs> Let's go to Suncorp Stadium. Cameron Munster joins us. Congratulations, Camp. Now, another great addition in this rivalry between Manly and Melbourne. How did you see it? Oh, my lungs are still burning, to be honest with you, Vaughn. Um, they're a good quality side, Mel uh, Manly. And with Tommy and their team and Cherry and Foz leading them around, um, yeah, we'll most likely see them in the finals and it'll be a good contest. Cam, it's Mick Ennis. I, I thought mate, for, for a side this year that's blown opposition sides off the park, Yourself and Jerome tonight had a real sturdy look about you, a real composed look about you, willing to be patient, a number of repeat sets tonight, just happy to camp yourselves down their end? Yeah, obviously with games, um, we've obviously blown some teams out. Um, we haven't really been composed and um, we've either kicked seven tackles or we've tried scoring off every play. So um, obviously we wanted to make it, make it like a finals game and, and wanted to complete and put pressure on the opposition. And um, at times we did that, but we can still get better with it, Mick. Money, it's Coop. Congratulations on your performance and the win. Dude, what about Hines and Pappenhausen? How's that role going to work leading into the back end of this year and the finals? Oh, look, it's kind of similar to um, the Cheese and Harry, that one-two punch combo. Um, obviously, both got different attributes to the team. Um, Paps is speed, Nico's ball playing, um, and this is a loose sniff around the middle as well. So, two handy players. Um, unfortunately, we can't have them both in the starting team. Um, so, I'm, they're breathing down my neck at the moment, Coop, so I need to start playing well. <laughs> Buddy, what about Manly? They came with a certain game plan. What, uh, what did they do well to limit your opportunities and put some scoreboard pressure on? Oh, just defence, just their line speed um, and just making their tackles. They, put, they tackled harder than ran harder than us at times in the game and, and really put pressure on us. And Obviously, when you give um, Manly too much ball with uh, Tommy Turbo around the back, um, he's going to make you pay nine times out of ten. So um, We obviously try to limit his time and space, but with so many involvements of his, um, his, of his game, um, it's hard at times, but yeah, obviously he did an okay job tonight. Kim, you must have been proud of your side. I mean, we just spoke about that before, where you've blown sides off the park, but Saab picks up that try before half-time. Garrick gets one uh, only minutes after half-time. But the way the side responded after that, you must have been proud of. Yeah, for sure. Um, we obviously wanted to start the second half really well, and we didn't do that. Um, and like, you, like I said, if we don't compete against good quality teams, um, they'll make you pay like Manly did in the, in the back end of that game there. So, uh, yeah, we just need to make sure we uh, get back to play, training well this week and and get ready for, um, I think we got the Raiders, so. Cam, I got con congratulations on another front. Expecting a baby sometime soon before the year is out. Can you tell any truth to the rumour if it's a boy, it's going to be named Craig? <laughs> um, it's definitely not going to name B. Cooper, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, to, be, to be honest there, Coops, I was pretty much a dad when I was down there in Melbourne with you. So I was <laughs> in nappies, mate. So I had to lead the team around when you were around, mate. So I'm still doing it now. See you, mate. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Next. All the best, mate. Thanks, Cam. <laughs> oh, he's... <laughs> he's such an unpredictable rat bag. Fun. Here comes Harry Grant. Harry. You're out there setting up tries, creating chances. How exciting was that? And plus, I've got to say, that heritage strip suits you down to the ground. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I really like this jersey. And um, we've got a very proud history at the Melbourne Storm. And we did a fair bit of it through the week. And the past players had worn this jersey. So this jersey means a lot to us and to those old boys. So um, if you're sitting there on the couch having a beer watching this game, we're all thinking of you. And um, we appreciate what you've done for the club. Harry, you would have been about three when they wore that old boys jersey back in the late 90s, mate. But uh, I thought your game tonight was special when you came off the bench. You picked up a beautiful pass there to Justin Olm. Normally it's the Fox calling down the left, but Olm had a big night tonight. Yeah, for sure, mate. He's a, he's a, he's a real weapon on that edge. And we got a lot of strike down that edge and, and also the right edge. And um, Yeah, it's just important that we keep building on those combinations. And yeah, I'll be, I'll be looking to hit Juzzy a fair bit. <laughs> You talk about your combinations through the middle, Harry. Uh, you're feeling like you're starting to get a bit of timing back now. Obviously, a couple of games back from injury. Yourself and Brandon, particularly through the middle, starting to have some joy. Yeah, for sure, mate. I think you can always work on it and um, keep improving little things. I think it's something that we can keep improving on and, and we will keep improving on. But, yeah, it's just awesome to be out there playing footy and we've got some uh, big units in the middle that go forward for us. So... <laughs> Uh, it's just me and Brandon playing off the back of them. Hey, it was a ding-dong game. What did Manly do tactic-wise to unsettle the storm through that middle period of the game? Um, I'm not sure, mate. I think we just got to nail our opportunities and do what we do well, and I think we'll nullify their, their opportunities and their strikes. So um, when they got a guy like Tommy Turbo and then Cherry Evans playing off the back of it, they're a very uh, powerful and um, talented side. So... Yeah, we'll just focus on we, what can, we can control and, um, yeah, then we should nullify their threats.
Harry, what about some of the, you know, I wouldn't say the lesser names, but guys that often don't get the accolades in your side that so often you know, produce incredible performances. I thought Christian Welsh and Dale Finucane tonight, particularly through the middle, well, that, they were terrific. Yeah, mate, always, um, you know, they do the little things that probably people don't no notice, but us as players at Melbourne Storm and the coaching staff really uh, hold high, you know. Welshie's kick pressure and all these little pressures on the inside as well as Dale and, uh, mate, they're, they're madmen. They, they run hard and tackle hard, so I'm uh, glad I'm playing alongside them and not against them. Well, Harry, it's great to see. Now, we saw you almost ran onto the field with your mask. You're just getting used to wearing them everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, just getting used to it. Um, yeah, I, did, I was pretty lucky I got it off there. <laughs> Can you send a couple down for Cooper, mate, please? <laughs> <laughs> Needs a few. <laughs> Harry, thanks so much. Go and enjoy, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you run around against the Raiders on Thursday. Thanks, guys, and um, just a shout-out to everyone in lockdown doing it tough. I know it's a um, hard time for everyone, but just keep your heads up, and, you know, we'll get out of this at, at one stage. So um, just keep your heads up, and, yeah. Cheers. Beautifully said. Yeah. Harry Grant there. He's such a genuine gem of a human, isn't he? He's 